All right, guys. So I just got my GoPro 4 Black Edition. Actually, I picked this up on Sunday at my local Best Buy when it was just first announced or first released to to purchase. But you know, I've been really busy, just haven't had much time, and I finally got some time now to actually play with it and even take a look at it. So you can see it's still new in the box. I also purchased some additional stuff too, like the GoPro 3-way uh, kind of arm slash grip slash tripod. So you can do, you know. Uh, mount your GoPro on here, it will act as a tripod and all that, but this will be a separate review. Just want to just give you guys a quick look at the GoPro 4 Black Edition. Tons of videos out there already on the Black Edition, just another one to, uh, you know, fill up more data on the internet. <laughs> Let me go ahead and open up this bag, and I'll show you guys what's inside. It's actually my first time even opening it, because you can see it's still new. Let's see, take it out. And you can see here, box is like all GoPros, give you guys a little kind of run around of it, you know, quick look. Uh, weatherproof, black, you can see you get the serial number and whatnot down here. So let me go ahead and open it. So I believe you pull this little piece down like so. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how you, oh, here we go. Got a little arrow here on the sides. Peel off the tape here. Just like the first one, you want to peel off the tape here to release the cardboard from the little plastic clear case here. Somehow this video went from showing you guys a GoPro to how to uh, unbox it, I guess. So yeah, you can see this is the inside part of it. So let's go ahead, follow the arrows. It says to peel, peel, keep on peeling, take off this tape, and boom, put that tape aside, and you can see the GoPro is housed inside, just like the uh, other GoPros, it's mounted onto this piece of plastic here, you go ahead and unscrew it here. Sometimes I do I do find useful is just to reuse this plate here. You know you can mount it onto your car or whatnot. Buy some uh, double stick tape, and you can actually reuse this part and not waste it. So it's also another mount if you want to save the, this piece here. Let me go ahead take out the screw. Almost there. Almost. Oh, there we go. Still brand new, so everything's gonna fit a little tight. Don't lose the screw. You will need this screw for the rest of the accessory mounts. Oh wow, feels very light. Um, comparing the GoPro 4 to my uh, GoPro 3, not the black, but the 3 with the larger case. This case is a lot smaller. I'm pretty sure the GoPro 3 Plus uh, is going to be very similar, but yeah, it looks very sleek, very uh, you know streamlined. We got the buttons here. It feels pretty solid. Um, yeah, the buttons and has a nice feel to it. It's no longer that really, it's kind of like really smooth and just easy to use so far from what it looks. And to open it, you just pop it open. A lot easier than the first case, you know, than the first GoPro uh, 3 case, which you, have to hit the, which you would have to hit the little button and open it. You see how easy it is to close. Oh, nice, snaps close. And it's pretty easy to open too, so let's go ahead. Ooh, it's nice and sealed. Boom, let's see the overall shots here. So let me focus for you guys. All right, so you guys can see, we got the LED indicators here. We got the button for mode. We got the setting, oh, setting buttons here now. It used to be a, a Wi-Fi button, but now it's the setting button, or a, I'm sorry, the menu. So you can change different modes to record over here you have the same access the uh, micro SD card the USB and then the HDMI so if you're using uh, you know for example using this for aerials like a FPV setup you can use HDMI with the light bridge or even the FPV like the 5.8 with the fat sharks you can always buy those adapters and use the uh, USB uh, connector over here and yeah that's same old nothing new with that part so that looks okay there. Um, let's see another shot. Oh, battery's down here. Looks a little bit different. So we guess we push it out like so. Also, the battery fits in here now. That's nice. 
I also purchased an extra battery because I expect the life or the runtime to be very low, especially you know because you can shoot now at 4K, 30 frames, or even 1080 at 120 frames just uh, draws a lot more battery from it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I got the LED up here, so when you're recording, one here in the uh, the back, and one here on the top, and I guess the light front one blinks in the bottom too. So no matter which way you mount it. You should be able to see the recording light when you're, uh, you know, recording to actually know that you're recording. So that's pretty cool, you know. The lights, all, uh, LED lights all the way around. Lens look to be the same, but you know, overall, I feel it's just like all the other GoPro three and the three plus, except the menu buttons up here now, or the light is all here, and then the menu and the settings is on the side. So let me uh, open up this box and see what else comes uh, with the GoPro. So we got some uh, manuals, getting started, we got some decals, GoPro decals, I wish they were a little bit smaller but you know, you can, you know, throw this on the back of your bumper, window or whatnot but you know, I kind of like the smaller ones because I could throw it on all of my uh, aerial stuff which I, which is what I plan on using the GoPro 4 with. More manuals, another manual with the warranty and disclaimer, one with the safety. Who really reads this stuff anyways, you know, but yeah, that's all there. Let's go ahead and open up this fancy little Swiss cross kind of type box. And accessories. So what do we get with here? We get another mount. Right over here. We get a three-way or a two-way here, but once you put on the other one, it's a three-way. You can see we got locking things on the side. So you can mount your case and get, you know, different angles. Actually, it goes onto this piece, the two, goes onto the three. For those who doesn't really know or haven't had a GoPro before, that's how it mounts. And then the other two goes back into the three. So it's always two, three, two, three. They always want to match in together like so. That mount. We got that mount. And then we have a back door that's uh, open. So I guess to uh, allow more sound to go through it, this one's completely sealed to be waterproof. If you're on a motorcycle, car, or you want to talk with your GoPro, there's a uh, open, it's cut out back here to allow more sound to go through. We got the battery and a USB cable. So the battery on the new GoPro 4 has a little tab here now. So that's, you know, a little bit different than the GoPro 3, so the GoPro 3 and the 3 Plus batteries will not fit on here. Which, unfortunately, if you guys already have those, you have to buy new GoPro 4 batteries. So, how they work. Oh, see, I can't really get it in because my sticker, I guess the label on here, it's kind of coming off. So let me go ahead and uh, kind of seal it back in. Um, not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but, you know, it's, yeah sticker so push it back in and put in my battery it slides into place there's a snap in but you have a little tape here to pull it back out when it's time to uh, replace batteries or swap batteries lock it in let me go ahead and power it on just like the first gopros or all the gopros oh, I guess the battery's not up oh, there we go took a while to power on so, ah, screen looks a little bit, you know, looks like you can see more details on there. Battery's a little low, but it's just cycling through the modes. So we got single photo. Oh, multi-shot. Ah, nothing new there. Setup. So we have a little wrench button here. Let's go ahead and click it and see what it does. Oh, so you click that. It's, oh. Huh. Well, that's neat. You can quickly cycle through the modes now. So you can change quickly between cameras and oh, all the views and oh, the menus are a lot different. Just by the looks, it's a lot different than GoPro 3. So it may take me a little bit getting used to and to uh, cycle down. You just gotta hit the top button, the circle, or I guess not. Looping video, video photo. Oh, so that's how you change, I guess. Okay, cycle down is this button to enter to change is this one so you can actually go down to 1080 hit this so it's got 960 720 720 all of this 4k at 30 frames that looks pretty cool let's see at 24 frames and 2.7 at 24 
let's see, 2.7 actually goes all the way up to 48, which is pretty good now. So you can actually do some, uh, you know, nice, decent aerials. Feel the view wide. Oh, you can also go medium, which is nice. Compared to the GoPro 3, you're all stuck and wide when you're shooting 2.7. Go ahead and cycle back here, bring me back out. If I cycle through this setup here, it's the same exact thing. So what's neat is this allows you to quickly access the menu button without having to cycle through a few clicks like boom, 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 boom to get to the menu. Now you can just quickly press it and it's there. So that's cool. Um, yeah, this is just a quick look at it. So let me go ahead and power it off. I'll make another video showing exactly more details, you know on the settings, how to uh, hook it up to the phone and stuff like that, just like my other video, how to bind or uh, how to uh, connect with the Bluetooth because there is no remote on here so you will have to use your app if you want the wireless feature or buy the um, the little GoPro remote control if that works which I will try later because I still have uh, that one laying around for my GoPro 3 and up here is more mounts with the tape already, this is actually very strong tape so you can stick to any surface well not dusty surface but most clean surface if you stick it to it these are really hard to take off and you're gonna have to use some heat to take this off so yeah you get a little curved piece and a square piece and a little uh, locking piece here to uh, hold down this piece here so yeah that's pretty much it that's you know a quick look at all the GoPro parts you know it costs another hundred bucks over the GoPro 3 black edition so it is a little bit more expensive but, you know, a lot of guys are going to be saying that, hey, it's not worth that 100 buck upgrade. Is it worth it or is it not? I bought it just because GoPro says you can do 4K at 30 frames. Hopefully, it's usable footage. You know, hopefully, it's going to be good for aerials and not okay. So, I'm hoping for the best, you know. <laughs> it's getting kind of late, so I'm kind of tired. But, yeah, yeah, I'm really tired. Just been really busy lately. But, I want to make a quick video showing you guys the GoPro 4 Black. The black does not have the screen, unlike the silver. The silver has a fancy little touch screen, which makes it nice, convenient to, you know, go through the settings and stuff like that. But if you have the app, I think the app's going to be quicker. And also, if you have the remote control, it's going to be just the same because the LCD screen will probably pull more power. And also with the silver, there is no 4K at 30 frames. Basically, you're getting a GoPro 3 uh, Plus, the black plus, with that piece right here, the little LCD screen. But it's a hundred bucks cheaper, but I think you know it's worth a hundred bucks just to get the um the 4K at 30 frames if it is useful. Cause I've seen a, quick, a few videos, but you know I want to see it for myself on my computer, just the actual footage and see how it works and you know if it's nice and uh, good. So let me go ahead and charge it, and I'll be posting some more videos up very soon. You know, showing you guys some of the settings and stuff like that. Also, there's low light, so that's pretty neat, you know, low light shots if you're going to be flying some uh, nighttime FPV or just doing some aerials in the evening time. You know, it should give some uh, pretty good results, and you can see, blah, 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 let me see what it goes here. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, it's nothing much. You guys already can find all of this stuff on the GoPro's website. This one's more of just another thing to fill up more, you know, data on the web, just want to take up more space like everybody else want to give you guys a you know a look of the GoPro 4 if you guys are just wondering want to see more re 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 uh, re 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 reviews from people oh, I'm getting kind of tongue tied kind of thirsty but yeah I'm gonna end it right here hope you guys enjoyed it once again guys thanks for watching and remember to uh, stay tuned if you guys want to follow up on the GoPro 4 black edition so once again guys have a good one